Hi students, I just wanted to show you real quick the difference between a pad of watercolor paper and a block. When you buy something called a block, it's a little bit better quality and you usually get fewer sheets. Um, and the best part of it is you can paint directly on it, let it dry, and then peel it off. So it's already set and in place. Um, because you don't get enough sheets out of it, I have the pad, and because the size is not matched up, I don't have that on here. But sometimes people buy their own paper after class or during, and I just wanted you to know that if you decide to play around with a block, there's lots of different companies that make these like Arches, Windsor Newton, Strathmore. But I wanted to show you real quick how to get it off the pad, because most people don't know this, and they end up making a big tear in the paper on the top. Anyway, so you just open it up and you have your paper. And when it's laying flat like this, you want to travel to the part where the binder is, which is where it's connected to the top sheet. The you know, here's the top part. And you want to travel along this waxy glue until you get to this strange moment where the waxy glue ends and the paper begins so you can see it usually pretty clearly but you have to kind of look for it and it's right in the middle at that point you can see individual sheets in here you can see them you can almost count them like a like a fan Let's see if i can get it so you can see see the individual lines in there There you can see. So you can even count them, how many sheets there are. Now you want to get a palette knife. See how thin and flat this is? If you don't have access to a palette knife, you have to find something really, really thin. Um, thinner than a regular knife. I don't know of anything else that works as well as a palette knife. But if you're really creative, and you want to get something that's not sharp so it doesn't hurt it, but this is what you do. You, you slide it in one sheet down like that. And then you slowly, slowly travel. It cuts through the, the glue here. And then you slowly travel all the way around to the front. Once you get a flow that isn't torn, you just keep sliding all the way around to the front of the paper. And that's how you get the sheet off, nice and clean.